How to change the direction of a single phase induction motor? Have you ever needed to reverse the direction of a single phase induction motor? This blog post will explain how to do it and answer some frequently asked questions about single phase motors. Reversing the rotation. Unlike three phase motors, single phase motors don't have a natural direction of rotation. The direction is determined by the magnetic field generated in the motor. To reverse the direction, we need to change this magnetic field. This can be done by swapping the connections on the starter winding of the motor. In some cases, you may also need to reverse the capacitor and switch. The important thing is that the capacitor and switch remain wired in series. Here is a quick guide to the steps involved. Swap the wires, disconnect the motor from power and interchange the wires on the starter winding. Terminal connections, connect the Z1 terminal of the winding with U2. Capacitor, connect the capacitor to the remaining two wires. Power supply, connect the neutral supply to the common wire and the phase supply to the other terminal of the running winding. How single phase motors work? Single phase motors use a rotating magnetic field to create torque and spin the rotor. This magnetic field is generated by the interaction of the current in the stator windings with the AC power supply. Reversing other motor types. The method for reversing a single phase motor is different from how you would reverse a universal motor. For a universal motor, you need to change the connection between the brushes and field coils. Controlling single phase motor speed. The speed of a single phase motor can be controlled by adjusting the frequency of the voltage supplied to the motor. This can be done using a technique called pulse width modulation, PWM. Additional FAQs. Can all single phase motors be reversed? No, some motors, like shaded pole motors, cannot be reversed. Can a capacitor change the direction of a motor? Yes, by affecting the starting winding, a capacitor can be involved in the reversal process. How to connect a motor for forward and reverse operation? This typically involves using contactors to swap the connection between the power supply and the motor windings.